I I power n time I power m is same as I n plus m I power n divided by I power m so that will be equal to I n minus m now don't forget dividing it can be can be written as a power of n over a power of m as well so the rule is the same because they both are dividing so don't forget that so n minus m okay now by looking at the index law they are very easy but okay many students don't know how to apply because when they add a bit of flavor they're confused in fact if you stick to the rules and the rest are very simple okay now let's give you some example first okay so let's say for example let's start with really basic okay let's say number one let's say m power of seven times m power of two okay now do not forget the rule now the base are the same so therefore when you time together you just add the power okay according to this rule here so therefore that is just exactly the same as m power of 7 at 2 so that just same as m to the power of 9 okay let's say number 2 okay let's say x to the 5 time x to the 3 yeah so your answer should be 3 plus 5. What 3 plus 5? 8. That is right. So 3 plus 5 is 8. So x to the power of 8. Okay. So just stick to the rule. Now let, let add a bit of flavor. So it doesn't matter what it is. It's just follow the rules. Now if it's complicated, you can just use calculator. As long as you know the process. That's where it is matter. Let's say p power of 7. Okay. Time p to the minus 5 okay so what it is is just stick to the rule a lot of students say oh my god minus 5 what do I do they're different no they're not they're exactly the same as the above as above okay so all you need to do is p 7 plus minus 5 now if you did in if you did the um, um, directed number you should have know that 7 plus minus 5 is 2 Otherwise, just use your calculator, okay? It doesn't really matter, but the thing is you need to get the right process. So this one, I just go 7 plus minus 5. It's just exactly the same as 7 minus 5. So the answer is 2, okay? Now, number 4. Let's say m to the minus uh, 5 times m to the minus 2, see? Oh my gosh, I forgot my directed number. Doesn't matter okay what you need to do is just need to get the right process so because i timed them together so the index law said minus five plus minus two so you go minus five plus minus two now if you do not know that just use your calculator type exactly the same and it give you m to the minus seven okay now if you don't don't know the the, the index i mean uh, the directed number okay but technically you should know because a plus and a minus it give you a minus so minus five minus two is minus seven okay so don't forget that so this is it so let's say another one including numbers okay let's say 2x to the 7 times 3x to the 10 for instance yeah now it doesn't matter okay just number you time with number and all this letter we just follow the rules okay letters or pronumerals if you like so looking at this see I just use 2 times 3 okay what 2 times 3 is 6 right again you know you can use calculator but follow the rules so 2 times 3 is 6 okay now x power of 7 times x to the power of 10 so you just add the index index so 7 plus 10 is 17 so your answer is x to the 17 how easy is that okay so we're gonna 
do the dividing one. Okay, so remember that they are simple. Let's say go dividing. Okay, so let's say let's say seven. Like sorry, m to the seven divided by m to the four. Now, what's what's the rule set? The rule set is okay. A to the m divided by a to the n. Okay, so when you divide, you minus. So m minus n. Okay, so therefore seven minus four. What seven minus four? Is three. So m to the power of three. Very simple. Okay, let's say twenty x to the power of nine divided by four. X to the power of three, for instance. Okay, so again, number with number. So I just use twenty. Okay, twenty divided by four. Twenty divided by four is five. So I just write five down. Then x power of nine divided by x power of three is just nine. Take away three. So nine take away three is six, right? So therefore, x to the power of six. Very simple. Now, let add a bit of flavor. Okay, it doesn't really matter、um, what it is. You just stick to the rule. Let's say I I give you a hard one. Let's say y to the minus six. Okay, divided by y to the minus four. You see. So that give me minus six plus minus and a minus. Sorry, minus and a minus is a plus like this. Minus six minus minus four. Okay, so minus six minus minus four. Remember, this is a plus. So minus six plus four. Okay, so you owe the bank six dollars, and you have four dollars. So you still owe the bank two dollars if you like. Otherwise, just type in your calculator minus six plus negative four. Okay, sorry, minus six minus negative four. Just use your calculator. Okay, so minus six, minus minus four. Just type that in your calculator. Your answer should give you negative two. So therefore, your answer is y to the negative two. Okay, so that's that's all it is. Thank you for watching.